The ending of Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed features a post credit scene that has haunted me for nearly 20 years. It seems simple enough at first. Scooby is playing the video game based off of the movie you just watched. Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed the game for the Game Boy Advance. It's clearly meant to be a promotional tie-in for the game, but then he flashes this code across the screen. Game Boy Advance Secret Code? S. D. 2. It's a simple enough code, but the movie doesn't tell you what it does or why you should care. I just know that I do care. I care so deeply about this. And yeah, sure, I could look it up on the internet if I wanted to, but I haven't been spoiled yet. I genuinely don't know what this code does. It has never been told to me, and I think it would be a lot of fun to play this game myself, type in this code, and finally solve this mystery. But I don't... The problem is I don't have a Game Boy Advanced, and I never grew up with a Game Boy Advanced, which you could probably guess because I keep referring it as the Game Boy Advanced, like past tense. It's just Game Boy Advance. Didn't know that. That's, is that weird to anyone else? It's, a little, I feel like it's weird to me. Good news though, exactly 87 days ago, I got married. And my wife has a DS that can play Game Boy Advance games. F marriage has its benefits, I'm learning. All that was left was a trip to ebay.com, where I got myself a copy of the game, as well as a copy of the first game, and then also a copy of a, a combo uh, cartridge that has both game one and two on it. I don't know why I got all three of these. I was like, I'm gonna be thorough, but I, I don't. <laughs> so dressed in my finest attire, I booted up the game to finally, once and for all, solve this mystery. What does this code Scooby do? And let's start the game. Opens up. Very similar to the movie. We got the pterodactyl ghosts. We've got the cool so the Coolsonian Criminology Museum. And this is it. This is the game we're gonna play. I believe the password is S D two, and that should be it. Mistake. What? S D two. Enter the code from the movie. That's what I did. Yeah, so are you also confused? Cause I got really confused. I spent the next couple of minutes trying to figure out if there was a, a different, like a second code screen. Because you'll notice that the code screen here has way more than three characters to enter in and you can't leave them blank. They're just filled with Bs because this keyboard doesn't have any vowels in it uh, for some reason, but that shouldn't even matter. Cause the code we have to enter is SD2 and all of the characters are there, but I keep getting hit with error codes and only my parents are allowed to call me a mistake. Okay. Let's just play the game and I guess we'll figure it out. This is not how I intended to spend my evening, but I kid you not, I spent the next four and a half hours in costume playing this game because it was so fun that I couldn't put it down. Uh, well, let's just enjoy the beginning of the game where I felt happier about my decisions. Oh, this is Fred, this is my role I was born to play. Mystery Inc. is proud to donate the costumes of all the criminals we've unmasked in the past. There's the Black Knight Ghost and the 10,000 Volt Ghost over here and the Skeleton Man and the Skeleton Man. There's two of them. Right. And even the Pterodactyl Ghost. Welcome to the tutorial. That's Velma. Just follow the instructions and you'll be ready to play. If you get all the Scooby Snacks in a level, you'll earn another try. Oh, do I only get like one try? Guys, if I only get one try at a level, that's gonna be stressful. I don't know if I can do that. Oh no. Yeah, so this guy right here making jokes about how the game is really easy and how I couldn't possibly fail at a level. Uh, he's a buffoon. He doesn't know anything. Don't get me wrong. The game starts off pretty chill, uh, but then press and hold on the up on the boy. The up button does, sure does a whole, a whole lot, huh? Ooh. Okay. What was that about? This was my first glimpse of the game being 
a little unfair sometimes. Attacks from enemies and sometimes the environment aren't projected very well. And the platforming in this game is pretty clunky, which isn't great considering it is predominantly a platformer. And that means when you're trying to dodge enemy attacks or environmental damage, it's not easy. And I failed a lot. I hate this. I hate this. Scooby, come on. But I don't want to come out swinging too hard against this game. There's a lot that I do like about it. Like, you're gonna hear me gush about these animations. Oh, that's cute. Look at the little down animation. He's so oh. scared. Dun, 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 dun. That is so cute. The amount of like animation effort they put in here. Oh wait, what was that? I can also just run by pressing, by holding B. You gotta add the classic Scooby Run sound effect here. There's a good chance you'll meet up with a rat or two. Why is there a good chance of that? That's not a part of Scooby's like lore or canon or like that's not a, a gag. If you press the B button while jumping, you'll butt bounce on the rat. Ooh, remember that when you get hit by a rat, your courage will decrease. Okay, so it's not Scooby's health. This is very important. Up there in the corner, that's not Scooby's health, all right? Scooby's not gonna die if he gets hurt. He just loses his courage. Okay, a box of Scooby Snacks has appeared. Always grab the box of Scooby Snacks to complete a level. The tutorial is over and you're ready to play. Good luck. Did it. Look at this little happy dance. With the first level completed, the game quickly provided me with a code. Write this down, write this down, write this down. So this makes sense now. These are the codes that I should have been typing in on the previous screen. They're classic level selection codes, but when do I enter the actual, the code though? But honestly, that's okay. I was still having fun with the game. I was young and naive and the game hadn't hurt me yet, but that's why the second level exists. Oop, oop, okay, scary. Ah! Ow! I'm trying to run. Oh, I can't walk over the glass because it hurts. Run, Scooby. Oh my god. I'm hurting Scooby too much. Or hurting his courage. He's not... He's fine. It looks like I don't get hurt if I hit the... Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like I don't get hurt if I hit the pterodactyl. Okay. Let me leave. Let me get more points. Let me get more courage points. No! No! And just like that, I failed my childhood hero. I was in charge of Scooby and I let him down. But I don't want to take responsibility for that, so I'm going to blame it on the game. This is some... Uh, some of the worst platforming I think I've ever played. And I played the Barbie Magic Genie race a ga a game recently. Oh my god. There is no good way to like... I'm going to... I'm gonna be stuck on this level forever, I think. Come on, come on, what is this? That's cool, I like that. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I figured this out later, but picking up Scooby's dog tags, it's just an extra life, which I would need. I desperately need as many as I can. I'm so, yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Thank God I got the rope and I got all 60 Scooby snacks. I'm, I'm gonna 100% this game. You didn't have to, oh, I get to play as Daphne though. Okay, now now I have like a cool attack. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Collect the Scooby snacks. So speed running, speed running strats. I swear that is unfair. That is unfair. Stop, oh my God. The game really wants me to take my time, and I don't want to do that. Daphne jumps so high. It's the go-go boots. Yes, yes, yes. I'd like to remind you that the whole point of this was to try and just use the code from the end of the movie and figure out what that does, but the game doesn't really care about that. So here's our first boss battle. Okay, so is this like a big, this is just like an open thing. Look at that health bar though. No, come on. Let's go, let's go, fight me, fight me, I dare you. I wanna like, yeah, a jumping slashing attack. I think that would be fun. Slash, slash. Combat. Yes. I did it. Down to zero, baby. Thank you, game. Woo! Velma examines the pterodactyl ghosts display. I almost forgot that the P in pterodactyl was silent. <laughs> I was gonna say pterodactyl. Discovers a secret hatch. Cheaper. No. Gang? Hey, ga hey, game designers? Daphne is the one who says jeepers. Not Velma. Velma says jinkies. Get it together. 
Oh, cool. Wickles Manor. Yeah, the game sort of skips over the whole plot point of why we're even headed to Wickles Manor, but it doesn't matter. Here we are with a brand new enemy type. We know how much you loved rats. So let's keep those and add another creature that is a little bit more annoying. It's bats, rats and bats, or as Scooby would say, rats and rats. <laughs> Stop! They're like always right where I want to be. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Scooby. Oh, do I just get to like smash boxes? That's cool. Is he like headbutting? What's he doing? Anyway. Oh. I was not supposed to do that. Okay, this is a puzzle. This is the first like puzzle the game has like thrown at me. Just wanna make sure I got my buttons right. See, we build a staircase. Look at that. Game's doing fun stuff. And with that one simple environmental puzzle, the game really won me back over for a bit. Until a few seconds later when all of this started happening. Whoop, whoop, okay. Not fair. <laughs> Go up the ladder. That is not Fair. Like, come on, I know that my big complaint is that this game is unfair, and I know that sometimes it's just me not being very careful, but this is some of these. All right, I cannot get hit again, actually. There it goes. Come on. Thrilling gameplay. What a thrill. Help Shaggy find clues in Wickles Manor. Oh, I get to play Shaggy. Look at his stance. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. All right, best game ever. Best game ever. I lied. This is good. What? He butt bumps? Look at his like... Eh. Yeah, he's got like the forward leaning run. There was some care put into the animations here. Clearly I was having fun in this level, but it can't be all good. I had to find a way to clear this gate from my path. And I swear I must have searched this level for like 30 uninterrupted minutes as I kept losing life after life to these rats and bats. I thought it would be this key that I found that would unlock the gate ahead of me, but no, the key is to something else that I don't know about yet. The game didn't tell me, and I'm not proud to admit it, but I did get a little desperate. Please, please, just let me pass. Here, I'll be submissive, just let me go. Let me pass. When that genius plan did not work, I eventually found an area that I'd not been in before with a lever and, and that was that was it. Ha 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 ha. Okay, hold on. Yes! Shaggy and Scooby do a little clue dance. Do the clue dance, do the clue dance. The black knight goes starts to chase them, they scream and they run for their lives. When do I enter the code SD2? We find a clue to finally end this level and we get another boss battle, this time with the Black Knight Ghost. And again, we're using Daphne. Now this was interesting because this was the first time in a while where the game threw a new mechanic at you. In the movie, while Daphne is fighting the Black Knight Ghost, Velma is reading through the book of how to create monsters to learn their weaknesses so they can win this fight. But Velma is not a playable character in this game. Neither is Fred, spoiler alert. It's just Daphne, Shaggy, and Scooby. So that's a little bit of a bummer. And in Velma's place, there's a mini game during the boss battle where when Daphne brings the Black Knight Ghost down to low enough health, you have to do a quick time event to hit all these buttons as if you're flipping through the book to find the weakness. But if you are not fast enough at this quick time event, the Black Knight Ghost will regain its health and you have to fight it again until you get to the point where you flip through the book. Did I not do it? Oh my gosh. I have to be faster. All right, B. Over... Verby. Okay, sorry, my controller is like mapped. And I not, no, come on. And I know a lot of people hate quick time events, but good news, they don't actually punish you for doing it wrong. Cause you can just hit all the buttons. You can hit all the buttons. That's what I was doing. Riding high off of that probably unearned victory. I wasn't paying attention to the amount of lives that I had left. And I got a little cocky. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, did the ghost guy just leave? He's gone now. Oh my God, Shaggy. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Look at these two. They're just like, we're screw up, Scoob. 
Behind that laughter, I was actually terrified in this moment because I didn't know what the game was going to do if I had to start all over again now that I lost my last life. I mean, I was an hour into this playthrough by now. Could I really afford to waste another hour of my life? The answer is yes, but not because the game made me start all over again. I just started at the level that I died at. It's like, lives really don't matter. And neither does my time, because I played this game for another three and a half hours. We're not going to go through all the footage, but there will be an extended playthrough of this up for my patrons. Link in the description. I do, however, want to praise this game for doing some really weird and surprising things. Like, there's this whole stealth level that really caught me off guard. The, um, um... This is a new game. Do I hide somewhere? What do I do? I was so taken aback. This is a brand new game. All right, so I'm gonna hide behind the cactus maybe? All right, I'm in the clear. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Let me go, 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 let me go. Oh my God, let me go. No, it's right there. Oh my God. And even though it was stressful, it was one of the most memorable experiences of me playing this game. I thought it was really fun. Uh, I'm like actually stressed. I'm so tense right now. Uh, There's like a frame when Shaggy's leg was like in, in the zone. Rank E. <laughs> That's probably not good. <laughs> and this game just kept throwing stuff like that at me. Oh wait, do we get to do like a mini game of like the snowboarding down the thing? That would be actually be rad. That would be rad as hell. Yes. Yes! Let's go! What do I do? This one was more fun in concept than in practice. This sucks. Stop it. But maybe I'm just bad at it. And there's this other mini game later where you're using blocks to build connections between two points on uh, this sort of machine or transistor or something. What's my rank? Do I get a rank? B! For booby boo! And even though I don't get to play as Fred or Velma in this game, I do get to play as another famous character. Pedal to the metal. Take the wheel of the- I get to play as the mystery machine! Oh, whoa. I'm- this is so fast. I don't like it. Oh my god. Pterodactyl ghost sucks. Oh. This makes it infinitely harder. Maybe Heather Jasper Howe was right about Mystery Inc. being a menace to the town. I think Coolsville sucks. These mini games were the highlight of this whole experience for me. When it jumped back into the actual levels and I had to do the platforming again, I stopped having a good time. Oh, come on. Go, just go. And then this happened. No! I swear, I cannot lose on this last. I, this is this is for sure like the last stage of this level and I cannot lose here no 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 mm. hate that hate that hate that hate that jump 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 go I hate this game no I'm gonna quit. <laughs> I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. <laughs> I'm gonna quit for now. Okay. I am not an angry person by nature. It, it takes a lot to get me fuming inside. But Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed for the Game Boy Advance managed to do that to me. I could feel gamer rage boiling up inside of me, and I don't... I didn't enjoy the feeling, so I knew it was time to stop. I started this because all I wanted was to finally figure out what this three-character code at the end of one of my favorite movies actually did in this video game. That's genuinely it, but maybe I just wasn't up for the task. 
or maybe I just needed some inspiration. Let's beat this game. It was at this point I realized that I've probably played through like half of the game at this point, and at no point have I gotten a prompt to enter in this code, but if it was so important that they put it into the movie, then it would also have to be important in the game. There could only be one place where I'm able to enter this code. At the very end of the game. So I grinded from level to level to this browser tab that had level select screens on it so I could get to the very final boss. I'm just, I'm so tired of playing this game. But there was still one obstacle in my way. This is the final level. Help Scooby defeat the evil masked figure. You got it. You're my hero, Fred. I love you. This was, by miles, the hardest boss battle I have played in a video game, I think, maybe ever. Most of the time when you try to hit them, you're the one who gets hurt, and them being in a position where you can actually do damage seems largely based off of RNG. It's just random, leading to long stints of time where you're just waiting for the game to do something to so you can hit the so you can actually fight. Please do something. Please do something. Anything. Please do anything. Meanwhile, every single other enemy from previous levels that you beat or skipped with a cheat code is also here trying to kill you and successfully doing so. Oh yeah, and then there are these saw blades also. Cause it wasn't hard enough. No. On this one boss alone, I spent an hour and a half failing and dying and trying again. But then, this happened. defeat the evil mess figure there's a small cut scene the first thing you should be aware of is the fact that there are two hamburgers The gang comes out of the abandoned silver mine to face reporters and photographers. Behind them, policemen lead the evil masked figure away in handcuffs. Mystery Inc., do you know the identity of the evil masked figure? Ah, uh, we're... this is it! This was it. This is what I spent hours of my finite human life working towards. Finally, I will know what this code does. If you have seen the movie Scooby-Doo 2, please enter the code from the movie. Oh, I not only have I seen this movie, I've seen it a million times. <laughs> All right, it was SD. SD. One, two. It was Scooby-Doo 3 for the teaser for James Gunn's third Scooby-Doo movie. Let's go. No! No, I did it wrong. A dark cloud passes overhead. The evil mask figure takes off the mask. The gang stares in disbelief. It's impossible. It can't be you. How could you be in two places at once? That's gotta be some mistake. Shaggy turns to Scooby and says, 
Hey, Scoob, like, do you see what I see? So you just don't get to know if you haven't seen the movie. I guess that would save you from spoilers. Well, that was disappointing. Hey, no one tell Nintendo this, but I uh, have a way of slightly rewinding this game, like a like a state that I saved, like a, you could call it a save state. Um, so we're just gonna go back a little bit and there. SD2, obviously. You're right, of course I am. Well, if our hunch is correct, the evil mess figure is Heather Jasper Howe, the reporter who's been trying to ruin Mystery Inc. from the beginning. But why did she do it? Because Heather Jasper Howe is actually... Ba -ba 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 -bum, Dr. Jonathan Jacobo, the original pterodactyl ghost. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids and that dog of yours. <laughs> and that's it. And that's the game. So, now I know. The code at the end of the movie unlocks the true ending of this game, letting you wrap up that mystery and this whole mystery that I've been trying to solve for so long in a very satisfying way. Although, solving the mystery in the game is really only satisfying if you've seen the movie because they cut a lot of narrative points out. There's like a whole suspect that's not in the game at all, but then again, you'd only get this code if you saw the movie, so it all works out. I mean, it's not like they would make the code something super obvious to guess. And sure, could I have just looked this up online at any point during the last two decades? Yeah, obviously, but I don't know. It was way more fun for me to play this game. It's based off of one of my favorite movies, and I got to finally solve this question that's been lingering in my mind. And I did actually have fun. I know that I got frustrated a couple times, but it was a great experience, so thank you to everyone who worked on the game. This guy's name is Dick Suckle. What a journey that was, mentally anyway. I am going on a physical journey soon to Chicago. Now, I've never been to Chicago, and really, I just haven't traveled very much in the past couple of years. But I do know that it's gonna be a lot easier thanks to today's sponsor, Bellroy. Hi, I'm in a suit. This is actually the same suit that I got married in, and now that you've seen it on video, I think it means I can write this off on my taxes. But the main reason I'm wearing this suit is because it is such a good match for this tech kit travel bag from Bellroy. I'm in love with this color right now, and also just in love with this bag in general. It's great. It feels extremely premium and it's filled with the exact kind of pockets and compartments for the things that I usually travel with, like cables and chargers and the remainder of my dating life, which is nothing because I'm happily married. No, no, no. Sorry, fellas. This bag is beautiful and functional and that is exactly what Bellroy is about. Creating thoughtful and sustainable designs for wallets, bags, backpacks, and more that make your life a lot easier. And if you've heard of Bellroy before, you already know that they utilize high quality materials for their product, while also being conscious of the environmental impact. Like this tech bag, right? It's made from recycled, water-resistant woven fabric. In fact, Bellroy has upcycled 10 and a half million plastic water bottles and 60,000 kilograms of industrial nylon cutoffs into durable, recycled polyester for their bags and pouches. And again, I also just really like this thing. Something else I didn't mention earlier is that it lays flat so I can access everything easily. Just one of those little nice features to have. And hey, if you wanna blatantly copy my immaculate style or just get anything else from Bellroy, Bellroy, you can get 10% off of your purchase by clicking the first link in the description. Again, you go to that first link below, get 10% off of your purchase, of anything that you purchase. I don't know if I made that clear enough. You don't have to get this exact thing. You can, it's great. Uh, they got great backpacks too. I'm, I'm probably gonna get a backpack after this. Use my own coupon code, double dip a little bit. That link is just down there in the description. You can click it, tap it, you know, get yourself something nice, support me and my videos. Tell my accountant that you witnessed this suit on camera. You know how this works. And thank you so much to Bellroy for sponsoring this video. That's it, bye bye.